New Year's Eve is going to be tomorrow. The year is coming to an end. Ah! Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know where my glasses are. I'm going to do this video without my glasses. It's a good thing I don't need to see far, but you can see me. Hey everyone, this is Natasha from Makeup and SFC. Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, I am barefaced once again. I don't know this. Every time I want to film a skincare video, I happen not to wear a stick of makeup. So you get to see how these products are doing with my skin. I really feel like it's authentic if you see what my skin looks like without all the makeup, without all the, the glam and all the blah blah blah, because you get to see what effects all these products have had on my skin. I feel like this year, 2015, my skin is finally at a good place. I feel comfortable to leave the house without any makeup on. I could before, but now I just really feel like my skin is is luminous, it's uh, smooth, it's moisturized, and yeah. So if you're interested to see what my favorite products of 2015 were, then please keep on watching. Today I wanna to show you products that are not only for my facial skin, but for my body uh, a little bit that you should know about my skin is I am prone to eczema, acne, sensitivity, and so a lot of my products are geared towards that, but I really feel like a lot of them are universal. If you're dry, if you're oily, I think they could use all of these products with ease. I have done, I think, two or three skincare videos on my channel. I will link all of them down below. I have a get unready with me kind of video. I have my favorite products videos, and a lot of those are in this video, but I will, you know, go over those ones quickly, but I did want to mention a lot of star products that I found in 2015 that I love, love, love to death, and I could not live without them. So these are those products. So the first thing I think I want to do is maybe just talk about how I take off my makeup, because that's really, really important. You can't wash your face if all of your makeup isn't off. So I like to use the Nourishing oil. This is from Garnier. This stuff I absolutely love. I've gone through four bottles of this. Um, I pump a little bit into my hand and then I massage it onto my dry skin just taking off the makeup and it just melts away everything. I look like a panda afterwards but it's darn good. So I think I've mentioned that before. You can buy it at any drugstore. Really inexpensive. I go through them like hotcakes. So I definitely love this in 2015. The next thing I like to do is cleanse my face. Now this one I have ranted, I have raved, I have talked about this so much. I have told everybody and their mom to get this product and it is the African Black Soap. This is from Shea Moisture. Now this product I know they have organic, like organic, organic versions that you can find at Whole Foods. This one happens to be the one that I bought a lot of. There was a sale at Target once and on the whim that I had, I just decided to try it. It is for acne prone and troubled skin and it has ingredients such as African black soap base, shea butter, oats, aloe, plantain extract, vitamin E, essential oils, um, vegetable glycerin, palm ash, rosemary extract, and iron oxides. This has done great things for my skin. It's really cleared it up. I wasn't suffering too much as far as acne, but I did have a lot of difficulty balancing the oil on my face and I felt like this really helped me in 2015. I really like it for friends who have eczema as well because it soothes that. It's not only good for the face but also the body. So if it's something that you wanted an all-in-one product, this is something that I would get. This large of a bar I bought at GNC and it was like, I want to say $5.99 or something like that. But the slightly thinner bar, which I use for traveling, it is about... $2.99, $3.99. So they're really inexpensive and really effective. So that's something I loved in 2015. So as far as tools, I used two main tools. In the beginning of the year, I used the Clarisonic. It's something I've had for a few years. I love that thing. It has done great things for my skin. But recently, and I want to say and take a chance, walk out on the limb here and say this is my absolutely favorite product of the whole year. This is my uh, Ruchi or Ruki. 
This is a facial massager. It is a sonic facial massager. And what it does is, I don't know if you can hear, it's a vibrator, <laughs> a vibrator for your face, but it has two um, settings. You can go fast, you can go slow, and I use that to massage the face wash onto my face. And the really cool thing about it is it's similar to the, what is that called? The Foreo Luna, which can be sold at Sephora's. It's similar in that it is a rubberized sort of like silicone base where you massage these little bumpies on your face so that you can get a really deep cleanse. Um, they have manual ones that you can find at like Asian dollar stores where you can, you know, get into those blackhead areas massaging the pore so that you can extract all that bad stuff. But this one is sonic, so not only does it vibrate, but the circular motions helps to really get those stubborn pores clean. And so I love this product. It was inexpensive. I found it at Burlington Coat Factory for $12.99. And it's amazing. It does the same thing as what I would expect the Foreo Luna. I've never had one, but it's been doing a great job. I've seen way more of a change in my skin than I ever did with my Clarisonic. And that says a lot for something that's really inexpensive. Now, if you can't find this exact product because I will list it down below. I've checked on the website and it's not listed there but there are tons of different sonic silicone massaging um, handheld devices that you can find on Amazon. So just something like this because unlike the Clarisonic you don't need to change the brush heads. It's a little bit more hygienic. You can wash it and clean it in that way. I just love it. So definitely check something out like this. For my basic regimen, I always cleanse, tone, and moisturize. So after I've cleansed, I like to tone. And something that I have loved, and it is no surprise to me because I love everything in this line, it's the Shea Moisture Problem Skin Toner. Now this stuff is amazing because, one, it's inexpensive. It's like $9.99 at the drugstore. It's a pretty small bottle, and I go through it rather quickly. Like, this is my second one. Um, but I spray it into a cotton pad and I rub that across my face and it really helps to just balance my oils, take away any of that, you know, sebum. Sebum is when your oils kind of like coagulate in your pores and uh, this helps to take it away because it also has tea tree oil and tamarind, anything that just helps keep blemished skin at bay. And so that's pretty much my mentality when it comes to skincare. I'm just trying to keep it all down, like <laughs> keep it down, never let it come up, keep it clean keep it mean. So I'm using this toner and I love it to death and it's something that I buy either at Target or Ulta, really accessible at the drugstore. For the daytime, I like to moisturize with Dr. Lin. This is the daily hydrating gel. I love gels because I'm more of an oily person so this helps to absorb into my skin without being too greasy. Now I really love this. It has hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. Aloe vera is something that I've been using on my skin for years. And it's a really nice, just clear gel, just something that I can put over my skin and it goes well under makeup and it's inexpensive. So I get mine at Ulta, Bed Bath & Beyond. At Ulta, sometimes they have really good deals where you buy one, get one half off. And so I really like this for the daytime. So for the evening, I like to moisturize with oils. So these ones I've talked about so many times on my channel. This is such a grubby bottle. This isn't the only bottle that I've used. I probably have gone through three of these bottles in the past couple years. This one, I think I've gone through a big bottle and then two of these little bottles. I just, I love oils and I like to get them at an inexpensive price. So this tea tree oil I get for mainly zits and prevention of zits. And so I use that. It's also very good antibacterial. So let's say you popped a zit. It's really good to heal that zit. Zit, zit, zit. That's a disgusting word. <laughs> okay. I love this Elma and Sana Argan Oil. It's a very good alternative to the Josie Marin Argan Oil. It's inexpensive for the different size bottles that they have. You can find both of these on Amazon, but I have found this one at Walgreens. Now, something that I've added to my oil family is the Dr. Jart. This is the Ceramide and Oil Balm. So this is something that I love, especially for the winter months. Um, I started using this in the middle of the year because I developed eczema and so one of my friends at Sephora on she uh, turned me on to this product and I have loved it ever since. I want to try all the different kinds. There's a there's a cream, there's a gel like and it's all ceramidin. Ceramidin is where it's at. This is it's non-greasy. I use it in the evening. I have never used it in the day. 
but I think if I ever used the gel formula, I would use that one during the day so that it would go well under makeup. But this is so good for soothing those really dry patches. Right now, for winter, my dry patches extend right here, right next to my brows and my scalp. But what I'll do is I'll just massage a little bit of this balm. It starts off as a solid, but while it warms up in your fingertips, you just rub it into the places that you need extra moisture. So I really, really love this stuff. You can find it at Sephora. If I'm a lazy bum and I don't take off my makeup right away or if I'm traveling, then what I like to do is I don't like to carry that oil, but I will take some facial wipes. Now, I use the facial wipes to take off the makeup, but then I do wash my face. And so I really like the Kirkland. I'm a Costco baby. My dad works at Costco, so I get the Kirkland generic version. It works just as well. All the wipes are highly moisturized. Um, sometimes what you see in other packs is that not all of the towels are moisturized enough or filled with that juice so that you can wipe it all over your face. But each one of these towels are filled with a lot of that solution, so it's great. It has extra large wipes, so that's really good. I can use one wipe for my whole face. And um, sometimes I'll just take them off like strips and just take off maybe my eye makeup or pick and choose. They're really easy to work with. So I love these. They're inexpensive and they're at Costco. Woo -woo. Body care. So for my body, because I'm so dry and scaly during winter, I decided that Eucerin is one of the best things for me. My coworker uh, suggested this for me because it is original healing rich lotion. It's very thick. And it's something that works really well to soothe those eczema patches that I have during the year. And I have loved it this whole year. So there you go. I'm a mask fiend. I try masks all the time. And there are just a few that I've used consistently throughout the year. Whether they're my favorites or not, I still use them the whole year. So one of those is my Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. I've used this for a decade, maybe. I've gotten different kinds of this mask in the squeezy tub in this tub tube squeezy tube or in this tub and I have liked it um, really I don't think I'll ever run out of this stuff because I didn't anticipate you know how big this tub would be but it's a really good like clay mask for people who need just balancing detoxifying it's good all-around mask and really inexpensive um, for the expensive though something that I used and got for Christmas last year was the uh, Glam Glow Hydrating Mask. Now this stuff is really, really good. I love the smell. It smells like summertime or coconut or something. Um, yeah, and I use this stuff so sparingly because I know how much it costs and it's like liquid gold for me. It's really good when you have like an event or an important day. Maybe you have like a night out or um, I don't know, I had a parent-teacher night once, and so I use this mask just to pump, plump up my skin and just make it look healthy and glowy. So I went in with a detoxifying mask, then went in with this, and your skin just looks so perfect. Makeup sits well on your skin when it's moisturized, and so this really helps, and I love it. I don't know if I can live without it, so I'm really trying not to finish this up. But if I ever do, I think this is one of the only Glam Glow masks that I would repurchase. Um, speaking of Glam Glow masks, I didn't like one of them. I think the black tub. I think it's called like exfoli exfoliating mud. I don't know. I forget. Use mud. The black one. Whatever. The white one I did like, but it wasn't as much of a love affair as the hydrating one. So I got turned on to this Sephora mud mask. It's supposed to be a dupe for those Glam Glow masks. I think it's really effective. So it purifies and it mattifies. And so it's a really good clay mask. I used this before the moisturizing mask. And so, as you can see, it looks just like that other one, but it's inexpensive. And so I'll use this mask. It has a weird kind of smell to it, but nothing that I would stop me from using it. But it's effective. It really does purify and it makes my skin feel cleansed, but not necessarily tight like other masks do. And so I really like that. It's $19 at Sephora, so much, much cheaper than the Glam Glow masks. The last favorite I have for 2015 are face masks, sheet masks. I've been using this since 2013, maybe. I love sheet masks because they're 
something that's really popular in the Asian culture and so they are saturated with essences that you can just lay on top of your skin and look like um, a serial killer <laughs> but they're beautiful on the skin afterwards your skin feels plump glowy and most of these are really inexpensive like a lot of these are maybe under two dollars or two dollars um, they have some at Sephora from like Tony and Moly that are two for seven um, once you get higher up in the brands then of course they get a little bit more expensive like SK2 or um, I don't know there are other brands but these ones I feel work and work for my budget and work for my face right now because they're inexpensive and they're effective. So those are my favorite skincare items of 2015. I feel like I just blazed through that. So I don't really know how much of this I can edit into a coherent video, but I hope you enjoyed. I am thanking you so much for following my best of 2015 kind of mini series. I don't know which um, best of 2015 video I'm going to do next. I might do makeup as far as like foundations, concealers, or maybe I'm going to do eyeshadows. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in the new year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay. So. Oh, ah. <laughs> the. Oh, did I not press record? I am. Ha <laughs> didn't know if I press record. Okay. <laughs> Look at my shirt though. Who misses Disneyland? Me!